Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to our Venezuela Facebook live streaming for Mathematics Math. Right now, we'll be discussing the trigonometric ratios of special angles. Make sure you have your learning packets with you, your notebook, and a pen for taking down notes. You may also use the chat box to key in your answers to the questions that I will be giving throughout the discussion. Let's start. Awesome. For today's objectives, you must be able to find the trigonometric ratios of special angles. Before that, let's recall your understanding about the six trigonometric ratios. Are you ready? Great. First question. Given triangle A and T, what is the trigonometric ratio of sine T? Type your answers in our chat box. You have 10 seconds to answer. Go. Time it up. The correct answer is 20 over 29. Given that we have triangle A and B and the basis is angle T, we are asked to find the trigonometric ratio of sine T. Remember that sine T is equal to the length of the opposite side over the length of the hypotenuse. So we need the measurement of opposite side and hypotenuse and the side opposite the angle t measures 20 while the longest side which is the hypotenuse is 29 substitute it to our trigonometric ratio it will be 20 over 29 next question given Triangle NET, what is the trigonometric ratio of tangent N? Type your answers in our chat box below. You have 10 seconds to answer. Go! Time is up. The correct answer is Tangent N is equal to 28 over 45. Given that we have triangle NET and the basis is angle N, we are asked to find the trigonometric ratio of tangent N. Remember that tangent N is equal to the length of the opposite side over the length of the adjacent side. So we need the measurement of opposite side and adjacent side. The side opposite the angle N measures 28, while the side next to angle N, which is considered as the adjacent side, measures 45. Substitute it to our trigonometric ratio, it will be 28 over 45. Another question. If secant theta is equal to 7 over 15, what is the trigonometric ratio of cosine theta? Type your answers in our chat box. Yes, the second answer is good. Time is up. The correct answer is 15 over as we discussed last time, secant ratio is the reciprocal of cosine ratio. Therefore, if secant theta is equal to the ratio of 7 over 15, then cosine ratio is 15 over 7. Another question. If cosecant theta is 13 over 12, what is the trigonometric ratio of tangent theta? Type your answers in our chat box. You have 30 seconds to
is equal to 12 over 5. The ratio of cosecant is equal to the length of hypotenuse over the length of the opposite side. On the other hand, the ratio of tangent theta is equal to the length of the opposite side over the length of adjacent side. Since the given is cosecant theta, we already have the length of opposite side and hypotenuse. And for us to get the ratio of tangent, we need to have the length of the adjacent side. To get the length of adjacent side, let's use the Pythagorean theorem. We use the formula A is equal to the square root of C squared minus B squared since we are dealing with the length which is the adjacent side. Substitute 13 to variable C and 12 to variable B. We have A is equal to the square root of 13 squared minus 12 squared. It will be A is equal to the square root of 169 minus 144. And 169 minus 144 is equal to 25. The positive square root of 25 is 5. Therefore, the value of A is 5, which is the adjacent side. Now, let's get the tangent theta. It is the ratio of the length of our opposite side to the length of adjacent side. Opposite side measures 12 and adjacent side measures 5. Therefore, tangent theta is equal to 12 over 5. Last question. If cosine theta is equal to square root of 5 over 7, what is the trigonometric ratio of cotangent theta? Type your answers in our chat box. You have 30 seconds to answer. Go! Two square root of 11. 
rationalized by multiplying both sides of the ratio by square root of 11. It will be square root of 55 over 22. Perfect. Now that you already know how to get the sixth trigonometric ratio, let's discuss the trigonometric ratio of special angles. This special acute angles are 30 degrees, 45 degrees, and 60 degrees, which I believe we already discussed last quarter under special right triangle theorem. Let us first consider 30 degrees using this 30 degrees, 60 degrees, 90 degrees right triangle. As shown, we have the length of 1, which is the opposite of 30 degrees angle. And this is considered as the shorter length. How about the longer length? Exactly. This is the side opposite of 60 degrees angle. While the hypotenuse is the longest side or the side opposite the right angle. As discussed in our previous quarter, what is the relationship of the longer leg to shorter leg? Exactly. To get the longer leg, just multiply the shorter leg by square root of 3. So 1 multiplied by square root of 3 is equal to square root of 3. That is why the longer leg is equal to square root of 3. And for us to get the hypotenuse, it is double of the shorter leg. So we'll just multiply 1 by 2, and it will be 2. So the hypotenuse is 2. Let's determine the six trigonometric patients. Identify the length of opposite side, adjacent side, and hypotenuse with respect to 30 degrees angle. The length of the hypotenuse is 2. The length of the opposite side is 1. And the length of the adjacent side is square root of 3. Get sine 30 degrees. We have the ratio of the length of opposite side and the length of the hypotenuse. Substitute the length of opposite side is 1 and the length of hypotenuse is 2. That is why we have sine 30 degrees is equal to 1 half. Next is cosine 30 degrees. We have the ratio of the length of adjacent side and the length of hypotenuse. Substitute the length of adjacent side is square root of 3. And the length of hypotenuse is 2. That is why we have cosine 30 degrees is equal to the square root of 3 over 2. Next is tangent 30 degrees. We have the ratio of the length of opposite side and the length of adjacent side. Substitute, the length of opposite side is 1. And the length of adjacent side is square root of 3. Rationalize the given ratio by multiplying both sides of the ratio by square root of 3. It will be square root of 3 over 3. That is why tangent 30 degrees is equal to square root of 3 over 3. Let's find cosecant 30 degrees. Since cosecant is the reciprocal of sine ratio, Therefore, it is 2 over 1, or it's simply 2. Secant 30 degrees is the reciprocal of cosine 30 degrees, so it will be 2 over square root of 3. Rationalize by multiplying both sides of the ratio by square root of 3. It will be 2 square root of 3 over 3. Lastly, Cotangent 30 degrees. It is the reciprocal of tangent 30 degrees. It will be 3 
over square root of 3. Rationalize by multiplying both sides by each other square root of 3. It will be 3 square root of 3 over 3 or simply square root of 3 because we cancel 3. These are the six trigonometric ratio of special angle 30 degrees. Can you still follow? Hit the like reaction if you can. Brilliant. Let's now consider 60 degrees using this 30 degrees, 60 degrees, 90 degrees right triangle. Let's determine the six trigonometric ratio. Identify the length of opposite side, adjacent side, and hypotenuse with respect to 60 degrees angle. The length of the opposite side is square root of 3. The length of adjacent side is 1. And the length of hypotenuse is 2. We can now get the six trigonometric ratios. First, sine 60 degrees. We have the ratio of the length of opposite side and the length of hypotenuse. Substitute the length of opposite side is square root of 3 and the length of hypotenuse is 2. That is why we have sine 60 degrees is equal to square root of 3 over 2. Next is sine cosine 60 degrees. We have the ratio of the length of the adjacent side and the length of the hypotenuse. Substitute the length of adjacent side is 1 and the length of hypotenuse is 2. That is why we have cosine 60 degrees is equal to 1 half. Next is tangent 60 degrees. We have the ratio of the length of opposite side and the length of adjacent side. Substitute the length of opposite side which is equal to square root of 3 and the length of adjacent side which is 1. That is why tangent 60 degrees is square root of 3. Let's find cosecant 60 degrees. Since cosecant is the reciprocal of sine ratio, therefore it is 2 over square root of 3. Rationalize by multiplying both sides of the ratio by square root of 3, it will be 2 square root of 3 over 3. That is why cosecant 60 degrees is 2 square root of 3 over 3. Secant 60 degrees is the reciprocal of cosine 60 degrees, so it will be 2 over 1 or simply 2. Lastly, Cotangent 60 degrees, it is the reciprocal of tangent 60 degrees. It will be 1 over square root of 3. Rationalize by multiplying both sides of the equation by square root of 3. It will be square root of 3 over 3. These are the six trigonometric equations of special angle 60 degrees. I hope you got what I am discussing, students. Finally, let's get the trigonometric ratio of special angle 45 degrees using 45 degrees, 45 degrees, 90 degrees right triangle. As shown, one of the lengths of leg is 1. Since this is considered as isosceles triangle, Therefore, the other leg is also 1. According to special right triangle theorem, to get the hypotenuse in 45 degrees, 45 degrees, 90 degrees right triangle, you will just multiply the leg by square root of 2. So, 1 times square root of 2 is equal to square root of 2. Identify the length of opposite side, adjacent side, and hypotenuse. Since two acute angle measures 45 degrees, 
So can you, you can use any of the two for your basis. Let's use this as our basis. The length of the opposite side is 1. The length of the adjacent side is 1. And the length of the hypotenuse is square root of 2. Let's determine sine 45 degrees. We have the ratio of the length of opposite side and the length of the hypotenuse. Substitute the length of the opposite side is 1 and the length of the hypotenuse is square root of 2. Rationalize by multiplying both sides of the ratio by square root of 2. It will be square root of 2 over 2. That is why sine 45 degrees is square root of 2 over 2. Next is cosine 45 degrees. We have the ratio of the length of adjacent side and the length of the hypotenuse. Substitute the length of adjacent side is 1 and the length of hypotenuse is square root of 2. Rationalize again by multiplying both sides of the ratio by square root of 2. It will be square root of 2 over 2. That is why cosine 45 degrees is square root of 2 over 2. Next is tangent 45 degrees. We have the ratio of the length of opposite side and the length of adjacent side. Substitute the length of opposite side is 1 and the length of adjacent side is 1. That is why tangent 45 degrees is 1 over 1 or simply 1. Let's find cosecant 45 degrees. Since cosecant is the reciprocal of sine ratio, it will be 2 over square root of 2. Rationalize by multiplying square root of 2 to both sides of the equation. Therefore, it will be 2 square root of 2 over 2 or simply square root of 2 since we cancelled out 2. Secant 45 degrees is the reciprocal of cosine 45 degrees. It will be... 2 over square root of 2. Rationalize by multiplying square root of 2 to both sides of the equation or to both sides of the ratio. Therefore, it will be 2 square root of 2 over 2 or simply square root of 2 since we cancelled out 2. Lastly, cotangent 45 degrees. It is the reciprocal of tangent 45 degrees. It will be 1 over 1 or simply 1. These are the 6 trigonometric ratio of the special angle 45 degree. It is just easy, right? I hope you got it. Remember that you will always get the same ratio even if the triangle is small or Let's check your understanding using the table of trigonometric ratios. Fill in the blanks with the correct ratio. First, what is the ratio of sine 45 degrees? Correct. It is square root of 2 over 2. Next, what is cosecant 30 degrees? Exactly, that is 2. Next, what is secant 60 degrees? Yes, that is 2. As you can see, cosecant 30 degrees is equal to secant 60 degrees. Lastly, what is cotangent 45 degrees? That's right. That is 1. Awesome. Did you know that you can use your fingers to determine the trigonometric ratios of special angles? Yes, you can. With this, your classroom discussion teacher will teach you that incredible technique. To wrap it up, the special angles are 30 degrees, 
45 degrees and 60 degrees. These angles were derived from the two special right triangles, namely the 45 degrees, 45 degrees, 90 degrees right triangle and 30 degrees, 60 degrees, 90 degrees right triangle. For you to remember the trigonometric ratios of special angle, here is the table. If you have queries regarding our topic, you may ask your respective teachers and he or she will discuss it on your follow-up discussions. Moreover, I want you to answer test one, try this, on page nine of your ABM to be checked by your class discussion teacher. For our points to ponder, let me share to you this quote from Thomas S. Watson. Don't save things for a special occasion. Every day of your life is a special occasion. Start giving now. Stop saving pleasurable things for that special occasion. Stop withholding your love until that special person materializes. Every day you are alive is a special occasion. Every minute, every breath is a gift from God. Once again, this is Mrs. Charlene Abalos, your live streaming teacher for today. Thank you so much for your participation and time. Happy learning and always stay safe. Bye!